Many times in the past on the cow-calf corner, we've talked about the importance of cows being in good body condition at the time that they calve. And also, we followed that up with it's important to maintain that body condition after calving going into the breeding season. How much change in both protein and energy requirements do these cows have as they go from being late gestation cows to after they give birth and are in early lactation. I think that's important that we understand that so that we can provide the kind of diet that's going to be necessary to keep these cows maintaining that body condition. Let's look at the nutrient requirements of a beef cow. Let's use the example of a 1,200 pound cow in the last third of gestation and see that her protein requirements are about 1.9 pounds of protein every day. And in terms of energy, which is equally important, she needs about 12.9 pounds of TDN every day in order to get that body condition where we want it to be at calving time. Her average amount of, of dry matter intake that she can take in yeah, voluntarily is about 24 pounds. Okay, now let's switch to what happens after she calves and starts in, in early lactation. Well, that protein requirement increases by about 52%, up to 2.9 pounds of crude protein being required for that lactating cow every day. Energy also goes up about 30%, from 12.9 up to 16.8 pounds of energy being required for now an 1,100 pound cow because she's lost the weight of the, the calf and, and the fluids during the calving process. But even though she weighs less, her nutrient requirements have gone up. Her ability to take in uh, intake has also increased, but only about 20%, up to 29 pounds. What this means to me is that after calving, we've got a cow that can take in a little bit more feed, but her nutrient requirements in terms of protein and energy have also gone up dramatically. We've got to increase the quality of the uh, feed, and that means we probably need to increase the amount of supplement that she's uh, consuming, or perhaps, and in some cases in addition, increasing the uh, quality of the hay that she's consuming. I think it's important that we understand how much the protein and energy requirements go up on these cows after they calve in order that we can maintain that body condition clear up to the, the start of the breeding season. You can learn more about the nutrient requirements of beef cows by going online. Go to beefextension.com. Look under the, the menu item for cow-calf and then nutrition and then uh, just toggle down till you come across the uh, circular, it's called uh, Re Nutrient Requirements for Beef Cattle, written by Dr. Dave Lawman here at OSU. It gives you a lot of information about the requirements for these cows at different stages of production, different sizes uh, of cows, different milk production. It's got a lot of valuable information. And we'll look forward to seeing you next week on SUNUP's Cow-Calf Corner.